Yes! We can't believe it. <laughs> By three tenths of a mark, Chris. Three tenths of a mark. Some highs and some lows. Again, look at how close this is. It's half a point. Oh, oh so man. close. <laughs> Two one hundredths of a mark. Look at that. <laughs> well, I can't ever remember seeing an ice dance competition this exciting and close. Figure skating. Top six. Most dramatic and closest. Competition. To watch. Number six. I'm walking around in the circle of life. Doing things I know. American Evan Lysacek won the men's figure skating gold medal at the Vancouver Olympics. Second half day short program, Lysacek, the reigning world champion, finished 1.31 points ahead of the Russian, upsetting defending champion Yevgeny Plashenko of Russia. Evan Lysacek in second place, narrowly, after the short program. Does not have a quad here, it's his triple axle. Here's Plashenko, born in Torino, returning to competition this season after a three and a half year absence. Opening combination, the most difficult in this competition, a quad toe into a triple toe! Plashenko trying to become the first repeat men's gold medalist since Dick Button in 1952 skated last. Some sloppy landings on jumps. Oh, hang on, that triple axel. Lads, oh, that was a little scary. This guy's a cat. I don't know how he landed that. And one weak spin were enough to drop him to silver. I stepped on the gold medal position on the podium because I forgot that I came second. To be fair, I felt that I'd stepped onto my position. It wasn't planned, of course. It was just that in my brain, I'd actually won. Even though I said I would accept any results, and I accept it, but I'm not ready to lose while skating well. Well, well, what an awkward situation. I think I was awarded the silver medal because it seems the modern day system doesn't need quadruple jumps and the World Figure Skating Administration does not want to move forward like other sports do. We see new records in swimming, high jumping, but figure skating has frozen, or even better, it's taken a step backwards. What Evan Lysacek showed today was material from 20 years ago. The great figure skaters of that time were pulling triple axle and triple toe loops, but Lysacek didn't perform even this. What do you make of all the response, the negative comments from the Russian silver medals criticize you for not doing a quad jump? You won gold by 1.31. Are you surprised that he keeps complaining? It just stings to me a little bit, even though it shouldn't, because he's someone that I really look up to. and He's been a trailblazer in the sport and, and will go down, of course, as one of the best ever dominating the sport for 12 years. And I've tried really hard to, to not feel like it's a personal attack, but it's starting to feel that way. And one year ago, I had a stress fracture in my left foot, which came from training that quadruple jump. And, and so the solution was just to alleviate the pressure on the left foot and take just that one element out. Now we have a new judging system and it really is accurate in judging every step you make. It really is about accumulating points. And for me, that's taken you know, countless hours of work to be able to figure out the right strategy to maximize points. Coming from a stranger, it wouldn't bother me, but coming from someone that I really look up a to... A hero, in a sense. Yeah. yeah. Um, Number five. And so they are down to the final group. The standings after the short program, you see how close it is at the top. Just over a point between Zagidova and Medvedeva, the Olympic athletes from Russia. Yevgenia Medvedeva. The two-time world champion, Olympic athlete from Russia, Yevgenia Medvedeva, who for the last two years just couldn't lose. It was her time up until the injury in November. 
up until Zagita but beat her at Europeans. It was all supposed to come together for her. Just over a point behind after Jelena Zagitova. Zagitova has the advantage over Yevgenia Medvedeva on the technical side. Yeah, Alina Zagitova won the Euros, won the Grand Prix Final, won Grenoble, won Beijing, won the World Juniors in Taipei, sets a world record every time she touches the ice. Her rise has been historic. Within five months, she's changed the landscape of ladies figure skating. Lina Zagitova is the gold medalist here in Pyeongchang. Wow. And it is oh so close. It is by just over a point that Zagitova wins the gold medal. What a ladies free skate. This Russian story, Zagitova, Medvedeva, will go down in history as a classic. What a way to win. What a way to lose. If you can call a silver losing. Number four. Look at that. <laughs> Would you believe that? They won. Second place, two one hundredths of a mark away from being world champions. The French missed out by eight one hundredths of a mark from gold. And what about the Russians? And they're only a point away in the end from overall gold. Oh, what a competition that was. Well, I can't ever remember seeing an ice dance competition this exciting and close. So the Russians won the free dance. The Russians won the free dance. From fifth place, they only move up to fourth. Incredible. And, there and that won. was because of the twizzle. Four yeah. points on that, and yes. they'd have won. So I think this is figure scale. I mean, we have we have two programs in a in a competition. So number three. Now the uh, the top guns taking aim. The star of the moment. Sixteen years of age, here's Mawasada. Now this triple, triple combination. Triple flip, triple loop. Oh, she popped it. Oh dear. That's probably the fatal moment. That one mistake cost her. Yeah. One mistake in, uh, in a field yeah. like this. And you just have to take one step at a time and, and uh, but the, keep your cool. The, the so here is this shattering new talent. Kim Yu Na. She is just 16 years of age, trained by Bran Orsa, former world champion himself. Beautiful. She's won everything this year, and she was absolutely fantastic. The best short program we have ever seen. The winner of the Grand Prix Final, the winner of the event in Paris. She's had a phenomenal year. Just hold your breath and watch Kim Yu Na from Korea. Ah, she is human. Down on the triple looks. First part of the combination. Down again on the looks. And uh, just to put it into context how important those falls were. The combination she was doing with the triple looks should have been with double toe loop and a double loop on the end. That has a base value of 7.6 and the looks on, her, on its own is 6 points. She's going to get one point deduction for each of the falls. So she's 15 and a half points down. The Yuna Kim is in first, but that opens the door. In fifth after the short, Mao Asada, 16 years old. She is opening with a triple axle. She's been practicing it in the warm-up and here it comes right here. And look at this entrance to it. Great rivalry, not kidding. Look at the height, nice complete revolutions, but she did now a triple, triple combination here, triple flip, triple loop. Very well done. We have a look at the extension of the leg, the tightness of the leg, the zip up, the, the no, no separation in the movements of those jumps. Just wonderful. 
<laughs> and she did get credit for that triple axel. Just a trip of that. Very, very nice. Asada's on top. The best free skate score ever. After Asada did what she did, and in second after the short, Miki Ando from Japan, 19 years of age. Remember, Miki Ando was waiting to see whether or not to put the quad in. Mm -hmm. She's done it before. She's the only lady to have done it. It's been a long time since he's landed it, though. We'll see. She's been doing them in practice. Opening with the triple lutz, triple loop. And she's going to do the quad. It will be right here, this sal cow. And they're only a triple. Very nicely done, too. She has skated clean so far with all of these difficult jumps. Satisfying is that. Home team against home team. Oh, it comes man. down to that. <laughs> she jumps ahead of Asada. It's Miki Ando who wins the world title. Now she knows it. Oh, so close. Well, Miki Ando, a lot of people gave up on her here in Japan after coming in 15th at the Olympics. And now, here she is. The gold medalist, an emotional one. So Hasada ends up in second. Kim ends up as the bronze medalist, but oh. I'm so close. <laughs> Number two. Look at how close this is. It's half a point. 286.01, and he ends up with the silver medal. It's Nathan Chen who will win the gold. Guys, that's about as close as you're ever going to see. And it, it's kind of disappointing to see all these great skaters fall apart. Very rushed on that takeoff. Especially at this Grand Prix final without the heavy favorites, Javier Fernandez, Yuzuru Hanyu, to be there to compete against and to stack up next to. This is their moment to shine, and they really are bringing it. Look, shaking his head right at the end of that performance. And am I right, Terry? Is Nathan undefeated? The only undefeated male this season? You are absolutely correct. Number one. This is the 24 year old Tatsuki Machida. But a terrific form this year. Amazingly, these are his first world championships. Fifth in the Olympics. Winner of Skate America. Winner of the Ross Telecom Cup in Moscow. Beaten down into fourth place in the Grand Prix final. Great start. Pristine clean on the quad and then triple toe. Glorious triple axel. Whoa. And again, clean as a whistle on the triple nuts. What a sight that is. And up they go. An uplifting performance. One of the best short programs I've ever seen. Just sensational. I can't believe that Hanyu can beat that. Maybe he can. But it will be some extraordinary skate if he does. Yeah, Hanyu's got to go clean now, no doubt about that. Anything less is not going to be good enough. The newly crowned king of men's figure skating, the Olympic champion, 19-year-old Yozuru Hanyu. The quad is first. No! Flying triple axel out of nowhere. Oh. Triple lutz, triple toe loop. It was a beautiful performance. Great interpretation. But with one flaw, a major flaw, was it a fatal flaw? 
It must have been a, an awful feeling. All of the other elements were very, very good. It, uh, it may cost him in the short, but he'll be in a position where he can get it back in the free. Yeah. It's not over yet. 24-year-old from Kanagawa, Tatsuki Machida. Quanto. And he did. Quanto, double toe. Brilliant. Triple axel, triple toe loose. Second triple axel. Not as pretty as the first. Well, he is off to the races. The fight to hold on to that triple loop. Handed. No problem there with the Lutz. Triple flip, double toe loop, double loop. Just one jump pass to go, and there it is. Two quads, seven triples, beautiful skating. Quite incredible. But in all probability, you're looking at the world champion here. Unless we're going to see something quite miraculous, he's put himself out of reach. I think you're right, Simon. I, I can't see that being beaten, to be honest with you, even if Han Yu skates clean. I don't think he'll have enough points there. I don't think he can do it, get those five points back from the short. And another skater from Japan takes not just another skate, the skater from Japan and the Olympic champion, Yuzuru Han Yu but he had his second lowest total of the season in the short program in third place. Because of a fall, he said, I wasn't happy with the free skate at the Olympics, and I'm not happy now. And he'll open with a very difficult quadruple sao cow, a jump he has not landed all season. A bit low lying there in the landing, but still completes the jump. And he follows it right up with another quad pass, a quad toe. What to watch for is the spring he gets off the ice, how high and smooth. Fantastico. Volador. Triple flip. Triple axel combinado con triple tolu, combinación importantísima. Ah, determinado. Altro triple axel, doppio tolu, braccia nu, fantástico. Es increíble la cabeza de Yusuru. for wow. everything he did a triple sal with no speed it's very difficult just so you know exacto exacto qué maravilla ver este patinador como pelea he needs 191.02 just to put that into perspective and that is a, a mighty high score he's got a best of 193.41 but he couldn't have he honestly couldn't have tried he is so talented and tired. And he's only 19. <laughs> it's incredible. And Yuzuru today was fabulous. You can see he was fighting through the performance. He started to let his core go a little bit towards the end. But Olympic champion stuff. 101 points at the moment. Uh, you know, eight points ahead of, of the current leader technically so far and he still didn't have his best day, but fabulous effort. And it's a long season, especially in Olympic gear. Think about probably all he's been through since Sochi to get back to train and keep up that same pace. It's hard. It is going to be mighty close. It is. But all credit to the young man. Yeah, he gave it his best shot. But he just told the audience to be quiet so that the next skater could concentrate. Total sportsmanship. Yes! 282.59 and over Machida. Yes, yes, you are. You're in first. He can't believe it. <laughs> By three tenths of a mark, Chris. Three tenths of a mark. Incredible. Brilliant race. I've never seen a race that close. Yes, sir. Hollywood Carson. Never know that